This video is about finding the area of rectangles using polynomials. So, first of all, it says find the area of this rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So, my area is the length times the width. That's the cursive L. So, I'm going to say this is my length. I'm going to say this is my width. So, it's going to be 2x plus 5 times 3x. So, in order to finish finding the area, I'm going to distribute. <coughs> The 3x into both. So I'm going to make this 6x to the second plus 15x. So this is the area of this rectangle. Given that length and width. If you think you understand that, pause the video and try the one below. If you pause the video and give it a shot, I would say length times width is the area. So it should be 4x take away 1. And my width is 6x plus 9. It doesn't really matter which one you call length and width. You can choose either one and call it length and width. So in order to finish finding the area, you distribute. Or better fact, you get 4 together these two binomials. And you will get 4 times 6 should be 24x to the second. 4 times 9 is 36x. I think I distribute the 1. So it's going to be negative 6x take away 9. When you combine these like terms, the final answer should be 24x to the second plus 30x to track 9. So that should be the area of that rectangle, given that length and width. My last question is this. In this question, I'm basically giving you the area. And then saying find the width. So I gave you the area. Now let's say I gave you the length of the problem. I asked you to find the width. I'll basically factor the area and figure out which factor I don't already have. So if I said that the area of this problem is 3x to the second plus 26x plus 16, we learned to factor that. So in order to factor that, it works like this. We take the 3 and multiply it to the back, so it becomes x squared plus 26x. 3 times 6 to be 48. So essentially, I'm thinking about this becoming two binomials. It should be x and x. This plus sign in front of the 48 tells me I got like signs. And that tells me the sign of my largest number is positive. But since they're like signs, they're both positive. And I got to figure out numbers multiply got to be 48, but add to be 26. So let's think about all the factors of 48. You've got 1 and 48, 2 and 24, and actually I see the pair. 2 and 24 can add up to 26. So we'll put 2 and then 24. So because we began by multiplying by 3, we'll come back and divide these factors by 3. So this 3 does not go into 2, so it comes bottoms up. So the 3 comes up in front of x, be 3x plus 2, and 24 can be divided by 3, and you'll be left with 8. So the factors are 3x plus 2, x track 8. So if I factor that, it's equal to 3x plus 2, then x plus 8. So I see that the length is 3x plus 2. This must be the length. So my width must be x plus 8. So the unknown width must be x plus 8. And that's how you solve a problem. If I gave you the area and one of the sides, you have to find the missing side. All right, here's the last type. In this problem, it says the area of a rectangle below is 24. Find the length and the width of the rectangle. So basically, what we know is that the area is 24. I can make an equation that says x plus 2 x plus 7 equals to 24 because again area is length times width length times width equals area right so if that's true i can fold this together and get x squared plus 7x plus 2x plus 14 equals 24. this gives you x squared plus 9x plus 14 equals 24. So this is a quadratic equation. 
or to solve a quadratic equation, you need one side to be zero. So I'm going to subtract 24 from both sides. And I'll get x squared plus 9x subtract 10 equals zero. And this is factor one. So we talked about a factor one before. Got two binomials, x and x, unlike sign. And the numbers multiplied by 10 would have to be 9 are positive 10 and 1. So if you want to solve this equation, you say each of these factors equal to 0. So I would set x track 1 equals 0. I would set x plus 10 equals 0. So one answer is going to be 1. The other answer is going to be negative 10. So Length can't be negative, so if I plug in a negative 10, I get a negative 8 there as a length. So I'm going to throw out the negative 10 answer choice. The only answer I like is 1. So that means this side is going to be 1 plus 2, which is 3. This side is going to be 1 plus 7, which is 8. So the length could be 3, and the width could be 8 of that rectangle. That's a pretty good problem. This is what kind of problem you probably see in SATs or ACTs. They want to say factor or anything like that, they'll probably give you an area and set it up this way. Hope that helps. Good luck. Hope this helps. Good luck.